It's one of the biggest basketball matchups in the state. Number one, Duncanville, and seventh ranked Richardson Pierce, with two of the best ballers in the state squaring off. Duncanville's Jemias Ramsey going against Pierce's do it all center, Drew Timmy. What a night. Cars were parked two miles deep down the road just to get a glimpse of this super showdown. So we decided to sit down the two hoops heroes just minutes before tip off to find out about their friendship, the talent in the Metroplex, and what was about to go down on the hardwood. We've known each other for a while, just playing summer ball. So we've always known of each other, but this, this summer is really the first time we really got to like really get to know each other and hang out and obviously being teammates we just kind of bonded it's been a lot of fun to play with them so i've enjoyed it and drew i love playing with drew he's a give it to the guy in the inside and you can count it so i'll, I'll never have a problem getting the ball to somebody who'll give me an assist and hey it's drew if y'all if i actually know him he's actually really funny so i always have a good funny person around I can count on Jemias, you know, just go to the rim and get a bucket or an and one or hit a even step back three every now and then. <laughs> but no, yeah, if you anytime in the offense, you know, we get we struggle and we can't score, you can count on him to make something happen. Uh, that's funny you say that because I feel the exact opposite. If there's nothing working on the perimeter. Call it punch five. That was our play, man. Right? Punch five. Go down, post up. Hey, it, it's going up right around the basket. It's gonna go in too. Friends and rivals. They've grown up in the Dallas area, shaping their game against some of the most highly touted players in the country. And it's not easy to survive and thrive in Texas. Since there is so much talent and we always work out with each other and we always grow up playing against each other, I mean, if you're not good, you'll get exposed. So like, I really think it brings out the best in all of us. And I'm not speaking for Jemias, but I think a big reason why he came back to Texas was just because of how great the competition is here. And he's obviously made a huge name for himself coming back, too. Texas has a lot of talent. And it's been this way since we were sixth grade coming up. We all known each other. We all know that we possibly could get to this point, And we've all gotten here. Gonzaga was just the right place for me the whole time, I felt like. And once once you find that right school, it's you know, there's no better feeling in the world and a big relief when it's over, because it is a lot. So at Texas Tech, when I took my visit, they laid out everything they had for me. Told me the real rather than just making it glamorous. And the visit was great. Just I could tell that was the place for me. It's time to set aside a friendship for a night and go to work. So what's about to go down out there on the basketball court between these two? Wanna go with me? You got it. Me, hey, I'm looking for a great game. We're gonna both put on the show. Sorry to say, yeah, this one ain't gonna be close. Yes, sir. The last time they got lucky that I missed a free throw, but that was at y'all's place too. And you've never played in here before. You know, I've not lost here in two years. So we're going to see about that. That is tough on him. If we lose... Boy, take that something. out of the equation. Say something. Take no, that, no, no, take no, that no, out of the that. equation. Hold on. There is no if. We're not going to lose. If the game is close, you don't say that. If the game is close, it's because we're at your house with the reps on your side. That's if it's close. We're sending them home crying. I'm letting you know. No, sir, I got the special headband tonight. Zoom in on this. Zag Nation, baby. Special headband tonight. Special headband tonight. There's no way. There's no way I'm letting that one slip. And this one slip tonight. No way. We're going to see. <laughs> and in front of a standing room only crowd, two of the premier players in Texas put their talents on display. Jemias Ramsey and Drew Timmy exchanging buckets left and right and pushing their teams through the fight. Timmy would finish the night with 27 points. Ramsey would pour in 11 as the Panthers seal the victory and take control of District 8 in 6A. Handing Timmy his first loss at home in two years. Let's hear from Panther head coach David Peavy. 
They're tough. They're really tough. They're hard to guard. They got a kid like Drew Timmy, who, in my opinion, is, a, is the toughest kid to guard in the state. I, I told our guys yesterday in practice, this is what you live for. You know, this is why you play high school basketball for these, these type of moments. You know, there's a lot of games where you don't get this, but you'll always remember this. If you come out here, you play hard, play to win, no matter what happens, you're going to remember this. Uh, I love it. You know, we, we have expectations. One was to win a district championship. We put ourselves in good position for that, and, and uh, we want to win a state championship. Duncanville takes the season series from Pierce with both games coming down the wire. Both Timmy and Ramsey know if they want to get to that UIL state championship trophy, they're going to have to get through the other guy to get it.